hi guys Habibi here in this video I'm going to make a tutorial about how to measure a distance between an object with another object for example here me as a player and that coin spinning coin as a collectible object I want to me measure how long is the distance between me and that spinning coin and my objective is I want to hide that object if I'm too far away from it and I will show it if I'm close enough to it so right now it is no difference no matter how am I close to it or am I far away to it it is spinning and I can see it I want to hide this object if I'm this far and I will show it if I'm getting close to it so how to do it let me show you how to create a script to make such a thing uh, let me open that scene unity scene I have it here uh, yes yes this one this object let me open it inside this prefab mode I have this game object and if I hide this object it will hide the child object inside it so I'm going to add a script here to this object and this script will measure the distance between that object and the player let me find my script folder which one is it scripts here I will create a new script C sharp C sharp script I will call it hide me if I am far <laughs> what kind of name is it me hide if far that is better let me edit the script because I'm going to measure the distance between that object and a player object so I will create a public yeah public game object variable the I already have this uh, Visual Studio running and it is opening another new window it took me a bit more time to load it let me close that, that one and here is the script hide if far I will create a public not, not public variable is also fine just let's say game object player let's create a game object variable I call it player and at the initialization at start I will find where is the player object player equals to game object dot find find a game object with name player if, an, if a game object has a name which is the name player then then we define that is the player I I already have compiling C sharp script I have come on man I have this player rig inside this player rig I have game canvas and player object and this player object is that one that has cup capsule collider in it and the camera and this is the player object so I'm telling the unity I'm telling the unity to find that 
uh, player object find a game object with name player then uh, here I will create a vector tree uh, I will create a float variable float and the uh, variable I will name it distance distance and distance equals to vector tree vector tree dot distance and here I will add two parameters the first one is the player uh, player position player dot transform dot position and the second parameter is the game object transform itself so the second parameter will be transform dot position so I have this variable now and I'll, for testing purpose I will show the value of this distance in the console log in the terminal debug log debug window I mean okay so debug dot log the, the distance is plus distance variable so let me attach this script to that game object I have to open the scene again that one no yeah it is the scene and let me go inside this prefab object I will attach the script here add component hide if farm I will add it here and let's go play the game First, I need to open the start scene. It is the start starter scene. Check out the console window with the play button. You see that I have this value now. The distance is nine. Nine float value, nine point eight. If I am getting closer to that coin, it will be decreased. It is decreasing now. Six, four, yeah, three, three point seven five. Okay. If I want to hide the object when I am in this far from the object, let's say the value is nine. What I need to do here is to 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 add an if statement here let me delete or comment this debug log line here I will make an if statement if the distance is uh, less than 9 yeah f if the distance is less than 9 f I will I want to uh, disable this game object no I want to uh, set the child game object as inactive what I mean child game object is this one let me Yeah, let me go back here. I I need to create another public game object variable. Let me show you. I am I was this one. I should not place the script here guys let me remove it and instead I will add the script here 
height yeah height f5 here I'm going to add a public game object variable so I can drag and drop this game object to the slot then I will hide and show that game object so I will go back to my script this one here I will add public game object obj to hide obj to hide or obj to show whatever the name is so obj to hide here if the value of distance is less than 9 I will hide the, that object obj to hide dot set active true and else no it is the other way else if the object is more than yes it is correct it was correct if the value of this stand is more than or equal to 9 then disable it set is as non-active in set active false okay that is what I mean let me go back to my unity editor mm -hmm. all right here is my game object and I have this obj to hide slot here I will drag and drop this one here and let's try to play the game to test it which one is the yeah hit the play button and let's see okay right now I'm here yeah I don't have the value here because I disabled it I cannot see the coin right so me as a player as a player I have no idea if there is an object but if I close getting close to it I can see it here I cannot see it here I can see it okay and if I use the object I will get the coin I go home here is my coins Alright guys, what do you think about this tutorial? If you like it, please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel to support this channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time on my next videos. Bye bye.